Thank you so much for watching Tomochisa Music. So this amp, um, my friend, my former um, Skype student and from um, <laughs> England, all right, so Rafael, he made this amplifier. It's amazing. It says Steel String Singer. So it's like a replica, but it's really, <laughs> you know, sounds very real, you know. This amp has um, reverb and uh, even original one, similar. It reverb is somehow kind of dark, which is not really useful for me. So right now I'm using one control, uh, Prussian Blue Reverb, because that sounds much better to show this amp's ability. So without, um, uh, without uh, reverb, sounds... <laughs> It's just as good as with the re This is about amazing about the dumbbell amp overall because Fender it has a really nice clean tone, but always Fender it's a too, little too much this, a little too much that, and we I wish I have one of this that, you know. So in other words, everybody loves uh, Fender, you know, vintage Fender, but always not enough. That's why Steve Ray Vaughan always is Dumbo, Marshall, or Fender, you know, two, two three amps together, just like John May does now, you know. So, um, Dumbo made uh, tone stock, you know, really smooth, like, you know, It's not too much bass, not too much top end, but middle is just a sit in the right place. Fender use a little bit more scooped mid because they wanted to do uh, make a clean sound. So Dumbo really did um, made a Fender amp much sound better, also overdrive. So that's, you know, um, front pickup, now with the reverb. forget about making video because that's how <laughs> that's how much I mean it sounds so good let me describe it's kind of glassy sound but it's not thin sound it's a fat but it's not too muddy Mid, mid is just, just about right sweetness. I 
I mean, little bit, little bassy sound compared to Fender, definitely. But you see the chords you hear. So clear. Really punchy. Even like, you know, it's not about the slap guitar, but it's. Percussive. Whoa. It's just so percussive that um, amp makes you play better because rhythm is so, uh, you know, so strong. Even this, uh, I mean, unbelievable. I mean, so balanced. Don't you think? You know, I mean, overtone. Almost I can hear it, you know, uh, attack. Because so smooth. See, I'm just holding the pick really light. And every note, just blending so good, see? Root, root, fifth, ninth, wait a minute. This guitar is, you know, amazing, really light, you know, and rings like a vintage. Yeah, sounds, sounds so good. If you want to just enjoy the sound, so like this is a front pickup sound, so you know, like. This is a front and a middle. So nice. Raphael, it's a problem. I, I should have returned soon, but it's really difficult. Talk. This is this is dangerous. <laughs> dangerous, dangerous. Middle pickup. Just like wine tasting and cheese.
so clear. It just hit more and it kind of grow, you know, almost like a almost like an overdriving in the clean tone. Attack is uh, attack is so like round. <laughs> Rafael, what do you think? This is just like a good cheese and a wine. <laughs> now here, this is a rear pickup. Oh my God! Every note. Right now is about eight. Like overtone. Amazing, yeah. Honestly, earlier. Um, oh, you know, I decided to do this amp demo, but then I was thinking usually when I make a demo, I have to play something, you know, part of a music, melody, chord progressions, you know, maybe different style so that people don't get tired. I don't like just noodling in a blues riff over the amp because amp is so good. You can't just jam blues riff. You have to play melody or play the same thing, you know. I mean, how, how many amp guitar makes you know, E chord so good? This is really expensive E. So clear. Do you know, so now you know the reason why John Mayer has to have three amps on the stage. This one, steel string singer in the center, right? And then two rock and fender. Two rock has a little bit more bass, mids, you know, sweetness, and much almost like um, boosted, you know, fender. Yeah, almost more meat, more fat, more everything, you know, more color. Fender is more like nice solid. You know, nice, nice, but mm, maybe I want to have more. You know, it's, it's nice to have salad, but just, you know, a um, little bit weak in a way. You know, if you just do that, you know, yeah, too much dressing on, you know, means effect. Once again, this is too much information on the overtone. Overtone. Also, attack. Very mild attack. And clear. <clears throat> I have to apologize if I do this video too long. Because it's so good. See, like... So good. So now speaker cabinet is from Japan, Japan Pine, <laughs> and string string driver, and handmade, and speaker it uh, speakers are um, Eminence TF twelve fifty, truly based on 
my Jensen P12N. I have about three, four sets of, I think four sets of uh, uh, Jensen 12 C12N. But this is one new pair that in the Pro Reverb, came with the Pro Reverb, sounded so good. Um, not great on a loud volume because not efficient, but low volume, it just top to bottom, it just perfect. Nothing like that. Uh, no, no, uh, no selection, no eminence, anything new, n no, nothing sounds like that. Just so simple, you know. Like this speaker is really based on that. So in a way, actually, I had to really work with uh, Eminence engineer uh, Anthony Lucas. Uh, he was amazing, brilliant, you know, uh, engineer. We always on the phone every week. You know, we speak. We spoke so much, you know, details, and uh, I learned so much too because I said, "Oh, I need more top, more bottom," and we. She always laughed. More you, more you have on a bottom, you can't have a top. In other words, it's just almost like a you know full of gla full glass of a stone. You only can pour this much uh, base and this much of treble because if you pour more, then something spill, you know. And so uh, that's I didn't know. <laughs> I keep asking more on this, you know? but this is you know great example that you know we we nail this. You know, Jensen C12 and at home, but slightly efficient on the mid, little bit more, little slightly strong, I would say. more full, you know. but also top end, it's just a lot of top and nice bottom, you know. So now. I shouldn't really get into a little bit, you know, too much uh, overdrive and stuff, but just, you know, I, I show you. Uh, so first one, this is John Ray for TF. It's like a John Ray, but more uh, top end, less bass, and less gain. And regular John Ray cannot make this sound because John Ray has more gain and more bottom end, but this one has a little bit more skinny, you know. So here we go. On. This is perfect uh, uh, pedal for you know Fender clean sound because the regular clean sound. I mean, this amp has an amazing tone, but watch this one. On. It's just beautiful tone. And then classic uh, Ibanez TS-10. Everything 12 o'clock. So, without a, a pedal with a pedal Without the pedal.
Sounds too good. So I'm, I'm already afraid that you know, time went by so quickly. What time is it now? <laughs> yeah, take your time. Why not? Why not? Right? So, okay. And then last one, I, lately I stopped back to you because I'm writing more new song and really based on Japanese pop and a little bit anime songs just because it's so cute. And I just want to, you know, bring guitar music to every age, you know, so ages. So that um, a person named Rockwell, he's the amazing composer, arranger, uh, producer, guitar player from Japan. And he played, uh, produced many uh, Yoasobi, um, you know, music. And Yoasobi, Tracing That Dream, that's the one he played on the solo. And um, I talked about solo then uh, he contacted me and since then we've been working together and then he's making the tracks you know music amazing so now a lot of songs you know i have melody with a very much distorted sound so this is clean it's a little noise <laughs> little volume was too much If I hit it a little harder, this become more distortion. This this pedal is very unique. If you pick, pick really soft, it's really clean. Then if you start hitting. So, so that's that's my drives, you know, John Ray for TF, TS10, Cray Jones. That's it. Over there. All right. So, do you have any questions? I want to, you know, question answer. But this is a one way video right now. Right now, you can write any question. Any request? Do you have any request? This sounds so good. Rafael, great job. Number two. Why not? I show you just a little bit my um my signature, but this is a prototype. I don't really play much, but so now I plug in this. So I have to plug in this to four ohm. And on. So this amp has a little reverb, um, but I, I'm off now. Oh yeah, reverb really nice too. But just let's do the same reverb. So this way. Could have a little bit more volume, huh? Like that. See, it's really nice sounds, but Raphael's amp are amazing. Back to uh, amp, and then we'll finish. Wow, amazing, amazing. See, where is it? 
Yeah, this is this is so two rock custom. Still one input, you know. Yeah, but that that's a very special amp. So now see this clean. I think I would stop this because I, I keep playing. It sounds so good. All right. Thank you so much for watching Tomushita Music. If you like this video, please subscribe and please share this video with your friends. And if you want to learn more technique, idea, guitar playing, please join my Guitar Wisdom. All right. So see you very soon. Thank you so much. Take care.